Ramble. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's episode. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of You Can Sit With Us. I'm one of your hosts, Becky. I'm joined by Maggie. Hi. Matt. Hello. Rainy on the ones and twos. Hi. And today we have a very special guest. We have Mr. <laughs> Quazy James. <laughs> <laughs> you know him. You love him. He's been in many Try Guy videos. You've been, recently were debuted on Without a Recipe. Yes, yes, yes. Um, mm-hmm. Uh, debut. Debut second time. Uh, second yeah, time. You're live. Right. You're right. More live. Bettering. Yeah, bettering. Yeah, yeah, being yeah. messing up. You know him. You know him. Crazy James, we always start this podcast with a little like kind of getting to know you. Question of the day, like a vibe check. Yeah. Crazy, what's one thing you're really proud of this month? One thing I'm proud of this month. That's a very good question. Wow, gratitude. I am proud of my toilet paper dispenser. Oh, I love yeah. this journey. Okay. So you know, like you know how like you take toilet paper off, you have to squeeze a thing. Yes. So one time I was sitting there, and you ra- you lift it up, and it just comes right off, and then put it back on. So it's no squeezing of the thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's just lift up, pull out, <laughs> or you put back on. And I was uh-huh. like, yo, I came a long way in life from Brooklyn. <laughs> To like have a beautiful home that has a toilet paper holder that you can put, you can lift. It up. doesn't have to squish. You don't have to squish up. it. Yes, that yes. is fancy. Yes, and 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 simple and good mm-hmm. design. Mm-hmm. And I'm mm-hmm. grateful for it. Yes, very proud of it. Very mm-hmm. proud of that. Very I'm proud of your toilet paper dispenser too. That's Thank really you. Sweet. Thank you. Is it a dispenser or is it like a holder? holder. Yeah, the holder, holder, the toilet paper holder. And I'm proud of. I have a comfortable bed. Oh, <laughs> that that's is something key. to be proud of. Yeah. That is key. That's something yeah. to be proud of. I have a very comfortable mm-hmm. bed, and, and it's really big. It's a king size, so I can have my own room <laughs> and also share when I want to share. Yeah. yeah. You can come together in the middle. Mm-hmm. You can, you can run away. your own spot. Yeah. It's beautiful. Well, don't just put it on me. What are you, ex- what are you grateful for or happy about uh, Oh my God. I mean, I have a bebe. So every yeah. day he's doing something that I'm like, wow, you're a human. That's what's up. I'm proud of him all the time. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, always yeah, doing yeah. something fun. Achieving. This, he's achieving. Yeah. He does this thing called flying now where Keith holds him up and he flies around the oh. room and he gets so excited. Ooh. Oh, That's big up cute. Henry, yo. Henry, yeah. Henry in the house, yo. Henry yeah. Habs. Yeah. Henry Habs. Yeah. Henry Habs. Well, uh, what about you guys? Yeah, what, what are you, you proud of? Go ahead, man. What are you proud of? I know. I was like, um, what am I proud of? I'm proud of myself. Of Oh, yeah. we love this journey. I've been doing um, all three of the free games on the New York Times every <gasps> oh morning. Oh, my gosh. Whoa. Ooh. Connections, Wordle, yes. and Spelling Bee? No. Crossword. Crossword. I'm surprised wow. you pay for New York Times. Well, I still have a student subscription. <laughs> <laughs> lifelong learner, lifelong learner. I'm a learner. lifelong learner. <laughs> How often do they check on, like, they verify that you're a student? The first time you purchase. And that's <laughs> it. Yeah. So you're just a student forever. I'm a, I am. Yeah. How did you know? Thank you. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, we're so proud of you for completing you. all of those. Okay, you know, yeah. Every day, it's good for your brain. Keeps you goes. thinking, learning. And then every morning that I do it, Eugene tries to steal it from me. And he's like, <gasps> I'll do this for you. And I'm like, no, this is mine to do. <laughs> That's you know? your baby. Yeah. How, hard, yeah, how hard are the uh, things? Um, it depends on the day. Mm-hmm. Sometimes they're the hard. Day? I haven't done today yet, though. Sometimes they're hard. And then sometimes wow. they're easy. You can do them like really quick. Yeah. It just depends, you know? And it depends what the questions are. Because sometimes true. in the crossword puzzle, there's a lot of sports things, and I'm like, I have no idea. Yeah. Or I'll spell them wrong. What are you grateful for, Maggie? Uh, oh, proud of yeah, or grateful proud for? for? All okay. of the above. Yeah. Mm. I have been um, practicing my piping skills because oh. I have just got back for Great. Uh, cake off. molds, uh-huh. and I want to start making my friends like Aww. little bento lunchbox cakes. So I'm like trying to wow. get like very skills. good at like smaller piping. Sick. And last Ooh. week, uh, first I started off by like just practicing on wax paper. Um, but this like late last week, I finally like did it because I was practicing actually with like mashed potato oh like God. powder mm. first because oh, yeah. I wanted to like. Mm-hmm. Practice a little bit, and then yeah. I got like yeah. a styrofoam, kind of 
kind of like cake mold that I like wrapped in saran wrap and yeah. then I like practiced doing like a faux cake. Oh. And that way I can just like unfold it and not have I to. How many how many different types yeah. can you do now? All the tips. I, I've been used. I have like a, a set that I bought yeah. and there's like 25 different tips. Mm. So, so I'm, I'm practicing. I want to start making like using like I just planted pansies in my backyard so I can like put little edible flowers on it. I'm getting very excited and very into baking. Oh my so. God. Great. Have you yeah. been watching the Great British Bake Off or no? No, I haven't. But oh my God. I have it on the last, background. War, war. The, yes. the finale just happened. The finale just happened. It was oh. very exciting. <gasps> mm. Who won? Um, the person with my same namesake. His oh. name was Maddie. Spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> he won. Did yeah. you like him? Did you want him to win? Yes. He was not the person. <laughs> out of the people that were left mm-hmm. at the end, I wanted him to win. But there were some other people. Mm-hmm. When You, you know, when you first start watching, you're like, oh, they're yeah. going to go far. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they almost make it. And they don't quite, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. Are they all That's British? Like, yes. They all, like, live in the UK. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What about you, Rainy? Oh, my gosh. Wait. I didn't prepare one. But I can definitely do it. Okay. <laughs> I didn't prepare one. <laughs> Oh, I hosted my cousin two weekends ago, and he's 16, and so I'm proud that I did it. Oh, wow. I'm of him. He's very sweet, but just hosting someone is a lot. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I know. Mm-hmm. What generation are 16-year-olds now? We're millennials, right? We're millennials. What generation right. are those motherfuckers? X. Gen X. Yeah. They oh, are? wait, is it? Or Gen Alpha? I think they're Alpha. Alpha's Henny's age. Oh. Go, yeah. Henny, go. Oh. Henny's Gen Alpha. Oh, my God. I think Gen I think X We're already is. back around. Is Gen X not older? Actually, let me look at this. Yeah, I thought Gen X was like Gen in Z, between. Like Gen, Z. Gen Z. Oh, Gen, Gen Z, Z, not Gen, Gen X. X. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Gen Z years. Years. Range. So if they're 16. Gen X is 1997 just to 2012. Oh, thank God. Because I I like really read the identity of Gen Z, but sometimes some of those numbers are just like you're actually millennial, and I'm like, oh my god. Yeah. Eleven to yeah. twenty six is Gen Z. Twenty seven to forty two is millennials. Forty three to fifty eight is Gen X, and the boomers are fifty nine to sixty eight. Oh yeah. Do you guys connect with Gen Z pretty well? Because I've been having a. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> What's happened? What's happened in your yeah, life that's you made you uh, feel old? Did some Gen Z try to play me, man. Oh, what do you mean? Because they kept talk. They kept like generalizing millennials. Oh, like, they think that they think that's funny. Yeah. Like why? Like like oh, you're so millennial. Like, like don't talk about me. In what did any what did negative they say? Way. What did they say? I what got on your skin? It was just. <laughs> what did they say about you? It was you? just saying the way they said millennial. Like oh, that's so millennial. Like, what did you do? Uh, being myself. <laughs> <laughs> like, is that a problem? Like, it depends. Depends. What you? Part of your, well, depends. I, think I mean, you're we perfect, said about Gracie. boomers, right? Okay, boomer. No, I never said that. You never said okay, boomer? No. I still I say okay, so boomer. <laughs> I think you're going to start now. You're really? starting now. <laughs> yeah. I personally think millennials are the greatest generation, but we don't have to get into that. But <laughs> yeah, like the Gen Z... You think millennials are the greatest generation? You think, think they're going to do more than what Gen have they done? Z is what have we do? done? What have we done? Everything. Kill Not the- even what have we done? What have we <laughs> been through, dude? It shouldn't be what you've been through. It's what you've accomplished. Yeah, too. <laughs> There's a lot of yeah. obstacles yeah. in the way. You say we're on the rise. Our colleagues are on the rise. <laughs> Always. Did you grow up playing Math Munchers? No. Did you grow up no. playing um, um, Oregon Trail? <laughs> yes. yes. Exactly. You did that, and now you're on like social media, like this this big transition. Oh, of I see. Being, oh, because you had to learn. Exactly. We had computer classes. Yeah. Yeah. Do you typing, know anyone with computer class? Class? We had typing classes. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking. Typing. Yeah. We had dial up <laughs> internet. True. Yeah. You couldn't be on the phone while someone's on the internet. Yeah. We've been through shit. So for someone to say, <laughs> and I'm sorry, this is early in the podcast. For someone to say, oh, millennials and brush me off. Like, dude, I've been through so much shit. Stop trying to play me, dude. <laughs> That's all I have to say. What I mean, else don't that. you like about Gen Z? <laughs> it's, it's just that. It's just that. It's just the, the brush off. The tood. Don't brush off. He wants them to respect their elders. Yeah. yeah. They're not respecting their elders. And we're not even that old, dude. <laughs> but you're older than them, so you're yeah. their elder. We've been through shit. I mean, yeah. okay, yeah, start from the, so you were born in Brooklyn? Yeah. Yeah, Quasi, tell us, who is Quasi James? Yeah. Who are you? What makes Quasi Quasi? Um, I'm, yeah, I was born in Brooklyn. My family is uh, from the Caribbean, specifically Trinidad and Tobago. Mm. So, like, 
I say this all the time. My wife makes fun of me. In the house was literally Trinidad and Tobago. It was nothing was really American. I remember my mom making pancakes and it ended up turning into bread. Right. <laughs> and so it was like all like I grew up with eating curry and West Indian dishes, listening to like music that wasn't anything American. It was just like, you know, Caribbean music outside. It was Brooklyn in the late 2000s. I mean, I'm sorry, late, early 2000s, late uh, 90s. Mm -hmm. So it was just different, you know. And so it's like the two worlds mm -hmm. just dealing with mm -hmm. that. And you, your, your family's American through and through. Oh, yeah, you know, they're Jackie? just generic white people. Generic white people. <laughs> From and the my, Midwest. My parents <laughs> were just like trying to figure out how to be American mm. the same time I was trying to figure out how to be American mm -hmm. and also <laughs> yeah. West Indian. Um, Did your parents come from... Trinidad? Yeah. So they, they immigrated into the U.S.? Yes, yes. Both mm -hmm. parents at different times. Okay, yeah, and then yeah, in the U.S.? Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. Kind of. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, then I grew up playing, like, steel drums, did the whole Caribbean thing. Mm. So cool. Yeah. Um, moved to Florida eventually, which was, like, the gift and the curse because it's kind of slowed me down from growing up in Brooklyn. Mm. How old were you when you moved, relocated to Florida? Uh, it's probably like 15. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was like 15. Um, and then the it got worse in Florida. I started like fighting in school and got kicked out, oh, which no. was the best thing that ever happened to me, man. <laughs> yeah. Then I went Getting to- Getting kicked out? Yeah, yeah. Because okay. I, I wasn't really going to school that much. But when I did go, it was just like to talk to girls <laughs> and <laughs> to figure out like how am I going to become like a music video director? Oh, okay. Yeah. Is that kind of how your love for yeah, the industry for kind of started? Yeah, was much. music videos? Yeah. Because I remember you told me, oh, like, you were super interested in commercial directors. I am. Yeah. And that yeah. was kind of like the beginning. Hmm. Like, like, even pre BuzzFeed, like, that's what you time. were fascinated big time. with. I'm like an encyclopedia for commercials. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, like, I've, I grew up in, in the house watching mm -hmm. nothing but like, Lurt pet commercials, and <laughs> which is like a product in England, you know what I mean? And like South African commercials, and just uh -huh. like going to like production companies' websites and just like watching from like 10 a.m. to 1 a.m. just people's reels. Whoa, on like <laughs> wow. hot, hot, like, hot, like th these were the people like that were cool to me, like mm -hmm. just uh -huh. people who created really cool commercials that stand out. Um, I mean, discs. Everybody knows the what's up commercial. Yeah. You know, when you when you find a commercial that's like really stands out. Yeah. I mean, I was just the person who took it a little bit further than everybody else. What's your favorite commercial? Oh, great question. It has to be a John Lewis commercial. And if you have like any English listeners, mm -hmm. they'll know exactly mm -hmm. what I'm talking about. So Super Bowl is the big mm -hmm. thing in America, right? Mm -hmm. Where the big commercial comes out. Mm -hmm. Christmas is oh. and is the commercial in in London in Ooh. England is the John Lewis commercial they picked the best director of that year mm. and you get the chance to direct the John Lewis commercial which is like kind of like a Macy's mm -hmm. oh, okay and yeah in a sense Cute. if you want to compare it mm -hmm. right and that commercial is like man I've cried a couple <gasps> of times oh oh. watching the John oh. Lewis commercials wow yeah. yeah why do you like commercials over like TV like what speaks to you about them um, like as an art form. We had one TV in our house, and my dad was in control of it, mm. so I never got a chance to like watch whatever I wanted. Mm -hmm. So uh, <laughs> once we got internet, it was a wrap. It was like, oh, I can watch whatever I want, and this yeah. commercials was just like the thing. Yeah, yeah, and also like looking at directors, like, they also dress nice. <gasps> yeah, yeah, they all like they're super fresh. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like clean. Dope clothes. Um, yeah, we could. This could be a long conversation, but I just like I am a commercial nerd. Still to this day, I have like books yeah. on the best commercials ever made, and I read it from like front to back. Yeah, Blazy does the opposite of what uh, everyone else yeah. does, which is pays for the ad free commercials. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Blazy's like, can I pay more to yeah. give me more commercials? Yeah. Yeah. I want to see more. Yeah. They're short stories. They're really, really short stories, mm -hmm. and also. <laughs> You're getting over the the thing of you're selling a product, mm -hmm. but it's not really about the product because we're all connecting to like humans. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like we're, we're like we're selling to humans, and once you once you, when a good commercial is, oh wow, they're not really selling me; they're making me care about something. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, mm -hmm. have you seen cool. the Nike ones? 
Yeah, of course. Those make me cry. Oh, for yeah. sure. Yeah. My dad used to wake me up in high school. I ran cross country and he would wake me up on the meet days and he would show me a Nike commercial in bed. <laughs> like, you like, you want to watch this? Are you ready? <laughs> to get me inspired. I love yeah. it. Yeah. But then I was pumped up and I had to go to school until three and then I went to cross country. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you pump? There's one called Greatness where it's this kid and um, he's a bit overweight and he's just running, running. He's mm -hmm. on this like a, a long, probably rural America. Mm -hmm. And he's running by himself. And then I think there's a famous actor doing the voiceover. Mm -hmm. But he's just talking about greatness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, I've seen that And one. You, mm -hmm. you, would, you would look at him and he's just trying, mm -hmm. right, his, for his own personal greatness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, he, mm -hmm. and if you can't get pumped off of that, come on. I mean, when I think of commercials <laughs> that try to tell a story, it's always the pharmaceutical commercials. Talk oh. about it. So it's always like they try to play with your heartstrings like do you have psoriasis and they yeah. show all the people oh, yeah. how happy they are yeah. and like yeah. how they can enjoy life and they can like, be in the sun <laughs> yeah. and all that those. stuff and they're like ask yes. your doctor about it. but then they give like then they take you out of it because they have yeah. to give all the disclaimers and it's yeah. like they uh -huh. really yeah. yeah. you know, <laughs> may kill you yeah. Yeah. Right, right 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 don't yes. sue us yeah. and, and it, when you think of commercials that is like the first thing people think about but I'm telling you, once you leave the United States, oh my gosh, it gets, there's naked people on TV for yeah. commercials. It's like, <laughs> what? Yeah, it, 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 it goes to a whole nother level and like their stories. Mm -hmm. And sometimes like these directors become movie directors and things like mm -hmm. that. And the first people I ever got starstruck it wasn't an actor or anyone. It was a commercial director. And I was just like, no one knows who this person is. And I was like, oh, my God. What the fuck? I saw that Lurpet commercial. I was bugging out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did they say? They were just like, thank you. Yeah, like, thank you. Yeah, like, thank you. Like, oh, man, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. These millennials. Yeah. 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 <laughs> this episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. The holiday season can be stressful for everyone. There's travel. What presents are you supposed to bring? How to pack? Where to go? But whether or not you're giving gifts this holiday season, you get to define how you give to yourself. The holidays are a great time to do that. Whether it's by starting therapy, going easier on yourself during tough moments, or treating yourself to a day of complete rest, remember to give yourself some love this holiday season. Here at You Can Sit With Us, we absolutely love therapy. It's great to have someone to bounce ideas off of, someone who's totally impartial and can kind of help you sort through those tougher moments in life. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. In the season of giving, give yourself what you need with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash sit with us today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash sit with us. Did you watch, I feel like you would like it, the documentary about the, um, I think it was Pepsi ad about getting the fighter jet. Mm. Oh, and it was yeah. the kid who got all the like pop tops mm -hmm. and yes. the legal battle oh. that they went through to yeah, try to get this fighter jet. I remember, I remember that documentary. That was a very dope documentary. It was cute. It was yeah. quick. It was, that was quick. really dope. Yo. Crazy. I feel like your love of commercials is something people don't know about you. What are some other things that people might not know about you? Because we see you as you're on Without a Recipe. Yeah. Right. We see you on the Instagram. We see you on the internet. But what are some other things about Crazy James that people might not know? Ah, man. What's the that's, behind the scenes? Behind yeah, the that, scenes, that, that, that's, that, that is, yeah. I'll try the answer. I'll try to answer this <laughs> question. It's really hard. Because I... I Really interesting. I don't think about myself a lot. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it's it's really it's everything happening outside, mm -hmm. right? Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I used to work at BuzzFeed. You used <laughs> to work on Bring Me, which yeah, yeah a lot yeah. of people may not know. For mm -hmm. sure, I yeah. travel the world. What was your um, favorite place you went? Tell us about that experience. Yeah, I spent a month in Korea. Wow. Wow. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, what's the program so it, it's a buzzfeed series that is what are you what's the premise yeah. i was part of like the creation team so keith zach eugene man they had a, a really good time at buzzfeed right mm -hmm. i would imagine but i don't think anyone had a better time than i had <laughs> <laughs> i got away with so much shit <laughs> under the radar so um 
crazy spills all I got to travel yeah. Yeah, the yeah. world yeah. and make mm-hmm. videos, which exactly. was your dream. Exactly. Yeah, I travel the world on BuzzFeed's dime for <laughs> like about probably like a year. Love that. Right? So um, here's the thing. So we, at one point in time, Facebook was just giving out a lot of money for people to watch content. Mm-hmm. And we was like, all right, well, I think people are want to travel a bit more and we should inspire people to travel and mm-hmm. show them cool things of what to do when you go to cool places mm-hmm. and we'll make a channel about it. The channel was pseudo successful in the beginning and we were testing, testing and um, it became really successful. I think it still exists today. Mm-hmm. Wow. Um, yeah. So we, we, we'll, we'll, we'll fly out to a city in the United States or a city anywhere in the world and we do a bit of research of what is the coolest thing to do in this city and then moi and my friends will just do it. That was literally my job Mm -hmm. for the whole time. I mean, some people want to be rocket scientists. Some people want to be doctors. I just want to travel and do dope shit and shoot my friends like I'm shooting a commercial. Yeah. (laughs) Um, The coolest place I've been, I went to Korea for a month, went to the Olympics and that was dope. Uh, um, I went to Singapore um, to shoot drinking coffee. <laughs> <And> then, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I, uh, we went to, a couple of people went to Germany. A couple of people did all the states of Australia. Um, I think, and I, out of all those places, I think the coolest place I've been to was Nashville. Wow. Really? Dude, wow. You can't sleep on Nashville, dude. Nashville <laughs> is so Nashville. dope. Honky tonk, sick. <laughs> uh-huh, Just uh-huh. in the people and the vibe. They had the biscuits was on point. <laughs> um, Did you go to Hattie B's? No, I went to Biscuit Love, uh, which was fire. Hattie B's yeah. has the fried chicken, the, the the Nashville hot chicken. Oh, I did go there. Yeah. Yes, it was really spicy. Yeah. Yes, There's yes. like two competing chains that are like, it's Hattie B's and somewhere else. Which one is like the black one? I think Hattie B's is the Boy, black one. Boy, I went one. to that yeah. one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then, yeah, Nashville was just... The, the people, this the vibe, the love. It was authentic. Mm. You know, I met, I, met, I met these guys, and they started like, hey, you want to see us do some donuts in the middle of the street? <laughs> I was like, no. And they just did it anyway. And, like, <laughs> the cops came. And then when the cops pulled up, they was like, he was like, oh, I didn't know I couldn't do that. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> what the fuck? And then, uh, yeah, so we just traveled everywhere and did things and you would see like when we came to work with our suitcases like the envy in people's faces like Mm -hmm. what are you doing like (laughs) they're about to go take a taste test (laughs) 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 we're about to go on a flight you know what i mean and get all these points right you know what i mean so yeah that's true they were about to eat like eight kinds of vegan cheese raw (laughs) (laughs) and you're going to south korea yeah (laughs) yes yes and then and then i'm i'm I haven't been when I when I traveled in the past. I had never had an itinerary, mm. and I would get myself lost on purpose. Just like meet people, and people just help me around the world. And you really like while traveling, you understand like humanity a bit better. Mm-hmm. But most of all, you understand like yourself mm-hmm. a bit more because if you're in a country like South Korea, getting lost on a KTM mm-hmm. and not speaking any English because like you're in Busan someone is going to try to help you because they see that you're like, you're lost. Aww. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's just, there's, there's sweetness out there in the world. You know? And the more, the more you travel, the more you figure that out. Yeah. That's beautiful. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Did I you have that. any crazy people that you met? <laughs> you talked about the nice things. Shit. Cra- crazy people. <laughs> Man, crazy people, crazy people. Like you were in Marrakesh and they took you through the sook and like got you lost and stole all your money. See, that's what I'm that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> that's what you, that you want that type of adventure. Yeah, that's that's, what that's you're looking the adventure. For. I'm looking for stories. <laughs> yeah, like how am I gonna get myself out of this one? Um well, one one story that wasn't bring me related. I remember I was in London with my wife Courtney. She was my girlfriend at that time. And we went to the place supposed to this they're saying like this is the place where table tennis was um invented so we're we're in there we're having a good time i'm not in the best mood (laughs) and someone's some gentleman sees that and he's like hey you don't seem like you're in a good mood like what's wrong become friends and this again is the first time knowing this guy he's like hey you want to come to the bathroom do some cocaine with him like no (laughs) 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 yeah 
No. <laughs> so I uh, follow him to the bathroom anyway. He snorts his cocaine. <laughs> then he's like, hey, you want to come to our house? Be my baby. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so me and Courtney go to his house. <laughs> yeah, 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 dead serious. Me and Courtney goes to his house. And then I'm like, I probably could beat him up in a fight. Oh. If like he gets oh if, if oh if, if things get crazy. I was just saying you weren't like worried for your safety a little bit yeah. but like he has it, people have to be at the house if they're like yeah they, they, yeah they have to you like, don't know who's waiting for you at that house I don't know it could be Dexter <gasps> but I'm in for the adventure <laughs> <laughs> so we go to his house he's with this lady they're storing a bunch of cocaine I'm like nah we're good we're just hanging her out he's telling us about like hey he said he created like this. Ringtone, this is really old school millennial. It goes like ring the ding 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 ding. Yeah, yeah. 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 Crazy frog. He created that shit. It's a frog, right? He created that shit. Oh my god. Dead serious. That's what he said. (laughs) (laughs) And then (laughs) that tracks. That's all. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You remember that? Yeah. That's so millennial. That is. I can't believe you remember that. That's so dope. I think they still use it in like throwback movies too, yeah, when it's yeah. supposed to be like the early or the late nineties and early two thousands. Mm-hmm. You like the that? annoying you... ringtone. Ding, 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 yeah, ding, ring, ding, 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 ding. And he's like telling me like he's like really putting like yo yeah like we created that and then we left. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. So going from because you were, you were. We're kicked out of high school, and then you were at BuzzFeed. Like, what happened in between? What did you? How did you get to BuzzFeed? Oh, it's a great question. I um, so yes, uh, I went to film school, and then um, I moved to Los Angeles in '08. Did you just switch high school? So you got kicked out, and you went to a different one? Yeah, yeah, they 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 did like me a favor. It was like, hey, you just take like these classes, oh. and we will like won't consider you a dropout, but mm, yeah. you like will get a diploma, but you're not going to walk or anything like that. I was mm. like, yes, let's do mm. this. I just want to, yeah. how fast can I get to film school? Right. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. I, this commercial, this is a commercial director in the making. You guys will have no idea. <laughs> just um, wait. The confidence. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah, yeah. wait. Yeah. And yeah, so what? then um, finished college. I went to uh, Full Sail University, which is like, you, to to get into full sale, you just open the door, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> you don't really need anything. You just need some, need a loan, and you get in, which was great because like I'm more of like a hands on learner. Mm-hmm. It was less theory and more about, hey, we'll teach you how to load a camera. Again, millennial, we are in a transition between loading cameras and digital cameras, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So like I, I have that skill of like loading film. Mm-hmm. Wow. Well. Got here in 08, housing market crash. Mm. No one's working. Also, a writer's strike. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Big writer's strike, right? So there's no huh. jobs. And um, it was me and my cat, Egypt. Oh, and we were sleeping on someone's cat. couch. Shout out to Egypt. Aww. Shout out, yeah. Egypt. R.I.P. Um, bless. bless up, Egypt. <laughs> <laughs> and we, we moved here, and no one was hiring. And um, one day I was like, hey, I shipped my car from Florida to Los Angeles Mm -hmm. and I put on my graduation suit and I remembered all three production companies I really wanted to work for. And I called them on the phone and I said, hey, I'm outside. Can I drop off my resume in person? Wow. Wow. They gave me a shot. And uh, once like, you know, once someone gives you an inch, I just say like for anyone who's trying to make it anywhere, just take a mile. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Someone's give you a small opportunity. Don't take it for granted. Just mm-hmm. try to see how far you can mm-hmm. take it. Mm-hmm. You never know where it's going to land you. And that landed me an internship at DNA that doesn't exist anymore. And I just started working for directors that I grew up watching. Wow. From like my whole life, you know? Started walking their dogs, started getting them coffee. But I did whatever it took just to like get on set to learn uh-huh. as much as possible because like these were like my heroes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is these were these were like Superman to me. This was this was like these were like the big Marvel. These was like they they did things that I didn't know how to pull off, right? Uh-huh. And, mm-hmm. and things that that was were in their imagination. They they brought it to life, mm-hmm. right? I worked on like really dope music videos. I worked on um, Twenty One Gun. From uh, who's that? What band is that? That's uh, one twenty-one gun. 
That's a green day. Is it? It's a green day. <laughs> Worked on like just like dope videos. Like I was named to like directors like Little X, which is who's like a dope director. He's mm. Mark Webb, who directed Spider Man. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Rich Lee. Um, I worked on oh, I worked on a Britney Spears music video. Ooh. All eyes on me. That video was I love dope. that. What yeah, was Francis that Francis Lawrence. Like? It was dope. It was so <laughs> dope. What was what was interesting is um and also sad. It was like seeing Britney Spears mm-hmm. up close. Yeah. She would like do her number on camera. As soon as they cut, it'd be like three or four lawyers walking up to her about who's suing you now. Oh. And I'm like, what a, like, what a, that's not, that's a hard, in between sets, in, Ooh, yeah, in between takes. It's like, damn, like, damn, yeah, like, damn, that's brutal. yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah. like, damn. Yeah. It, it, it's like, yeah. She, she's, and then back to focusing on doing this dance number, uh, right? Yeah. So like, you just got like behind the scenes of, yo, this is the ugly part of mm-hmm. like this industry of or people like knowing you or you being like a big celebrity. Mm-hmm. So, oh yeah. Yeah, but on the music video side and working, it was just I was on I'm and still on cloud nine of just being a part of the thing you want to be a part for so long. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then what yeah. made you make the jump to BuzzFeed, which was like listicles video was just coming out, yeah, not Digital. super popular. Yeah, I didn't know anything. Or did about just it. start? It. Did you start at the? Location that was on Beverly? Delumpery. You did Del- Delumpery yeah, yeah, was your yeah, first yeah, one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so like kind of OG, but like one step away. Yeah. So like Zach and Keith was like OG. Yeah, Eugene right? was at Eugene. Beverly too. Yeah. Yeah. When you're a young director, you what you want to create is like a reel. Mm-hmm. You want to create as much work as possible. And the, um, the sucky part is like you don't have a lot of money. So you're just asking right. people for favors. Hey, I'll shoot your music video for free. And if you're shooting mm-hmm. a music video for free, most likely they don't have a budget either. Yeah. So you're just trying to figure it out. And what I figured out was, as a young director, even if I get signed as a director to some cool company, I'm not going to work because they're going to give the people work who's actually, like, really talented and bringing, you know, people who can, like, do the Toyota commercial. And I, I wasn't confident mm-hmm. to pull that off yet. My reel was... Um, a video that I directed for like three months and put everything I had into it because we didn't have any money. Mm -hmm. But what we did have was time, Mm -hmm. right? Um, I figured, so it wasn't, I was talking to a bunch of different companies and no one was going to hire me to be a a director. So um, I met one of my great mentors. His name is Michael Schamberg. He was a a story or producing um, consultant for BuzzFeed. Um. I met him because my his his son was my roommate oh. at my apartment, mm. and luckily his dad was just like some really cool producer. Again, somebody gives you an inch, <laughs> yeah. Do as the best you can to work hard and try to get a mile out of it, mm-hmm. right? Not not off of like some selfish things, but just like yo, these opportunities come from like the universe. Mm-hmm. Take it and run with it. Not mm-hmm. everyone has his op- these chances to for your roommate's dad to be a really cool producer. Yeah. Um, and he was working with BuzzFeed at the time. I was like, hey, this thing you're working on, I don't really know anything about it. I think the first couple of videos I just saw Quinta <laughs> yeah. saying some stuff. <laughs> and I was like, like, I think this could be the future, right? Mm-hmm. This is like, this internet thing could be the future. This is like, every, it looks like they're just making videos that's like really relatable. And I mean, it's not the most funny thing for me, not yet, but... <laughs> Man, this seems like a really good opportunity. And also, I haven't paid rent in two months. <laughs> right? So, get the interview there at BuzzFeed. I look around, and I see all these talented people. And I was like, oh, shit. This could be like SNL, dude. This is like, mm-hmm. everyone's going to leave and do something. Mm-hmm. Right? This is just the beginning. This is like the beginning opportunity. here. And luckily, I got the job. Started off as an intern uh, in the unscripted department, um, which was in that that department was Zach, Mm -hmm. Keith, you know, Eugene was in that department. And my first video was how easy it is is to buy a gun. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. And we got in trouble. Oh, yeah. We got because (laughs) 
we spend company money and bought a gun. You're, oh. not, you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> and at Ooh, that time, that's a no-no. Yeah, it wasn't my video. I was an intern. Um, and at that time, they only gave intern company cards. They didn't give it to producers. So I swiped oh. it with the producer who I was with. I, I he bought a gun. Oh my god. <laughs> And this again to prove how easy it is to buy mm-hmm. a gun in California, and yeah, I almost got fired the first week for oh uh, being the intern who bought a gun on a company card. Oh, yeah, I remember I knew Time that was Quazy's video because I've always told Keith I wanted to do a video where I buy a gun in Vegas yeah. and bring it to California. Right, and he's like, "Mm, Quazy already tried some yes. shit like oh, this. About that, yeah. It's yeah, not, yeah, 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 it's yeah, not going to yeah. work out the way you think it is." And I was yeah. like, "But I think it's really easy. So easy." So easy, yeah, and 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 that was a cool thing. Like, yo, BuzzFeed, BuzzFeed was the shit, man. Mm-hmm. It was so much fun, so much learning. But the humans there, mm. that 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 drove everything. This was like one of the coolest nine to fives I've ever had in my life. I think probably one of the first ones, the coolest nine to five I had in my life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. This is. I think it was this, a lot of people's coolest nine to five yeah <laughs> and yeah. some of their first jobs right which was nuts <laughs> right 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 where do you like, go from there <laughs> right true and it, it um seeing it evolve and change was like good and bad mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It, it got a bit more corporate and that that's cool and happens when it grows but the people i remember i remember like silently competing with eugene because he was <laughs> so fucking good he did this fashion show. I was like, and it was so detailed and so well planned out. I was like, one day I'm gonna get to like that <laughs> level, you know. And it was so good. I was like, oh my goodness, right? And um, yeah, my my BuzzFeed adventure was just great. It had just turned into traveling around the world. Yeah, yeah, and it hooked you up with some people that we think are pretty. Cool. Pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For Keep sure. sagging Eugene. For sure. And you still kept in touch, kept doing with the boys. Keep sagging Eugene. Yeah, yeah, I mean, nothing nothing is greater than an authentic relationship. Yeah. Right? And then yeah. how did you get linked up? Was it just the first time they ever asked you to be in a video? Was it just, hey, we need someone really funny. Can you help us out? Yeah, I think it became like a little more organic than that. Yeah. Yeah, it was just either like bumping into each other or... Mm-hmm. You know, online or just um. Ah, I know exactly how it happened. I was an intern, and we were at a K-pop event, and you know, I was still like in director mode mm-hmm. of like, and I was an intern, but I was in director mode, and they wanted me to shoot this video. They wanted a camera guy just mm-hmm. to come out and help them. But I turned it into, I'm going to turn this into a fucking music video. <laughs> <laughs> right? So like I started telling them what to do. Like, all right, we need you here. We need you here. And then I remember Keith and Zach was like, yo, this, why is this intern telling me what to do? <laughs> yeah. And the video came out pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. It's old school BuzzFeed try, first try guy videos. And um, yeah, I, 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 was, I was just, again, being authentically myself and... The guys were being authenticated themselves as well. And we it was like a synergy there. Yeah, definitely everything that happened from today to through the past were all just like us being ourselves and yeah, making it happen. Yeah. I feel like that's happen. a lot of stories in Hollywood too, of like mm-hmm. you don't necessarily need to be the person with the most experience or the literal best person at that job. But if mm-hmm. you are someone that people want to be around big time you will get hired mm-hmm. over mm-hmm. that person who's, yeah. you know, perfect at yeah. what they do. If they're a dick to be around, like, yeah. nobody's going to want to work with you. There's a lot of talented dicks. A lot of talented dicks <laughs> that, in the world. That, that, that don't work. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. That yeah. don't work at all. Yeah. yeah. That don't work. Yeah. It is it is what it is. Yeah. It, because the job is stressful alone. Mm-hmm. I mean, we all know this, right? Just mm-hmm. trying to be the best and, and you're growing and, and, and creativity and it only makes everything harder when you're a dick. Yeah. Yeah. So just chill. Try to be yourself. And also like being authentic, I think, is the biggest thing. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. You you're you're gonna find your tribe eventually if you're just yourself. And then within finding your tribe, you just find like self growth, um, and try to better yourself as a human being. And 
through through that journey, you're gonna find like like minded people that it's like, oh, you're cool, and you, if you feel the same way, you guys can link and make something happen. It doesn't this doesn't have to be creativity. You can work at a bank or something like that, but mm-hmm. being your authentic self, right, mm-hmm. and then really trusting on who you are, along with your self growth, you're gonna find a tribe that you link with for sure. Yeah, masterclass by Quazy over here. Yeah, yeah. I love right. this. Words this is actually going to gonna be a paid yeah. subscription episode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hashtag Quazy for twenty percent off. Does, does, does anybody in the room have a hard time being their authentic self in any situation? In high school, oh, I definitely yeah. was like just trying. I don't think I knew who I was at mm-hmm. all. So I was like, let me try saying this, you know. And then you slowly assimilate into what's easiest, what's most comfy. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Is it hard? It's like because I imagine it's like swimming upstream. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's all. It's an act, and you're scripting it as you're saying it. It's you know. Exhausting. So, yeah. Yeah. But I feel like now it's a lot. I don't have time to be. I don't have time to do that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What about you guys? Yeah, I feel like as you get older, you don't care as much about what other people think. Yeah. At least I don't. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I'm just like whatever. <laughs> yeah. Just be me. Well, I'd also yeah. say it's two people who didn't go didn't have the dream of being Mm -hmm. in a public speaking Mm -hmm. situation. Yeah. You go through, you had a lot of growth from. That's true. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I never wanted to be like on videos Mm -hmm. or doing things, you know? Same. But then. Really crazy. Yeah. Just kind of evolved. You wanted to be behind camera. Yeah. Yeah. You were happy and like fulfilled just like doing the craft behind the scenes. Yeah. Especially like for the, with BuzzFeed, especially you're you with you're you're in a company where everyone wants to be on camera. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm good. I turned mm-hmm. down more videos than actually I appeared in. <gasps> yeah. Than, than I actually appeared in, yeah. And then but now you are on camera now. Like do, was there a place where it was just like, okay, this is what people want from me? Like I guess I'll mm-hmm. do it. No. The on the on camera thing started with Try Guys. Mm-hmm. Oh. It started with without a recipe. It started mm. with mm-hmm. really? yeah, Zach and Keith giving me a call like, hey, you want to be on camera? Uh-huh. It, it, it was, I turned down more videos than I appeared in. Yeah. Mm. yeah. It was just like, I, I don't look, I, I never look at myself like, oh, Quasi, you're the guy on camera. I'm looking on the outside or mm. what can I provide? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Opposed to like being a thing. Mm-hmm. Everything that I do, like I, I don't watch 90% of the videos that I'm in. Yeah, I don't want to mm. like, it's, it's not like, it doesn't make me feel uncomfortable. Um, it doesn't, I'm not shy about anything. It's just, I'm just doing, trying to be authentically myself. Mm-hmm. Again, while growing to learn more about who I am. Yeah. For the most part. And it, um, yeah, it, it, I, I, it, it's never been about like grandstanding or trying to be a star or anything like that. It's just, it's just it's always been about like like learning and growing and also just like not being afraid to try new things and like that trying that new thing was being on camera mm-hmm. working in a company where everyone kind of I felt the majority of the people had um their 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 goal was were to be stars for for most people mm-hmm. at BuzzFeed mm-hmm. and, it, and it makes sense I get it I'm not even throwing shade at anyone it's like yo this is a platform where millions of people can watch you mm-hmm. right. My thing was, man, what's the best video I can shoot? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That do was it, my agenda. Do you ever have a hard time in without a recipe or any of like the scripted videos that, you, not scripted, but like the trivia videos that you've done with Try Guys? Mm-hmm. Do you ever have a hard time balancing being your authentic self and then the work side of it of like, okay, we need to stay on time or stay on topic mm-hmm. or, mm-hmm. hey, you need to say that line again. Right. Because, um, you know, whatever you're, Mike was rubbing up against your shirt. Right. Do you ever have a hard time balancing no, no, no. those two things, or is it pretty? No, no, comes no. pretty easy. No, and then, and that that and that really happens here. Mm-hmm. Um, and man, I I have to really send it up to someone who's up there in the university. Like, man, I I bumped into a great situation for my personality. <laughs> <laughs> this is nuts. This is like I am so lucky because. 95% of the time, I'm just fucking around with my friends. <laughs> I'm just chilling, right? <laughs> this is us if we're going to go get ramen or something like that. Mm-hmm. Just messing yeah. around yeah. and joking. 
right? This is, I got so lucky to the point where it's like, all right, if I'm going to be in front of camera, why don't I like start training and do something? Like, why don't I take improv classes probably? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Instead of just, I'm not like not taking this for granted, taking opportunities and just like really grabbing it mm -hmm. by the horns and like, what's the best I can do? Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And the best thing you can do is have fun. Which have is what right. you're time. always enjoy to have on Be camera. Be authentic, have yeah. a great time. And then like, and, and, and within that, like, all right, learn some things, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Keith is dope with improv. Mm -hmm. Oh mm -hmm. my goodness. His timing is so dope, right? And and, and it's like taking, taking that learning. It's like, I should probably start taking improv classes, right? Mm -hmm. Zach is a dope editor. Mm -hmm. Amazing editor. Really, really great storyteller. Right. And we nerd out about like movies and like commercial mm -hmm. and things like that. Like, how can I get better? Again, not looking at myself, I'm looking at the outside of mm -hmm. the everyone here kind of inspires me. And what can I take from everyone here? And it's like, how do I better myself for the future? For yeah. the most part. Mm -hmm. Taking little, little nibbles. Little mm -hmm. nibbles. Little nibbles. <laughs> and you'll be mm -hmm. taking on a new role in Without a Recipe Live. Yes. You will be. A judge? A judge, yeah. Yeah. I was like, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 So judgmental. Yeah. 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 Which what kind of judge, judge are you gonna be? Yeah. What kind of judge are you gonna be? It's not my first time. You've done P not your first no. rodeo. Yeah, yeah. So my first time without a recipe, I think was pizza. Mm -hmm. And I was a judge. Uh so very familiar. Mm-hmm. With judging. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's actually my favorite role. Is it? Oh yeah. Big time. <laughs> Big time, big mm -hmm. time. It, it, the cooking thing is hard. Like it's really hard. It's definitely more yeah. stressful. Yeah, it is. <laughs> definitely more stressful. Yeah, like, I don't know how to cook really. <laughs> and then also <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're you don't hired. know. No one would really guess that from watching. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know. Yeah, I, I know how to like. I know how to make like, a good tuna and rice. Right. Ooh. I know how to okay. like, fry a fish. Kinda. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. All right. Making a croissant. <laughs> Whoa! Definitely wow. did not do that. So hard. <laughs> so hard. Yeah, it's really freaking difficult, and that's the and and that's how lucky I am. Yo, I don't know how to do something, and someone created a show because I don't know how to do. <laughs> and I'm in a show that I don't know how to do something. Count me in. <laughs> Perfect. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And speaking of croissants, did you ever remember what Courtney said about <laughs> your lovely wife said about butter and croissants? I think fold after fold. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fold. butter fold. and fold and she said some other stuff too but I forgot oops yeah yeah what was yeah. yeah what was the set like what do you remember about being on set for croissants ah uh, it was hard it was just baking busy mm -hmm. yeah Lots of people. It's just baking yeah it's freaking difficult <laughs> every everything we make is so hard for me but man, I'm having a freaking good time. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when you're judging, have you already pre-chosen who you want to win? No. <laughs> can't do that. Yeah, it's all about like flavor presentation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's all about like the creativity. Mm -hmm. Man, who cares if you don't know how to cook? Like, what do you put on this <laughs> plate? What is the story? Is it edible? Yeah. It's not no. even about I feel like <laughs> You don't care if it's not edible. Does it, have, does it look like? Does it have heart? Yeah, does it have heart? <laughs> oh yeah. my God. Did you try? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did you try? But Quasi, you're also a not so secretive picky eater. <gasps> yeah, you famously yeah. oh. like mm. things very dry. I do. And you don't mm. like spicy. Yes. And chocolate oh, I like, makes you thirsty. I love spicy. But yeah, chocolate dove, for sure. Chocolate, <laughs> chocolate definitely makes me thirsty. But um, the, the reason, this, let's get this narrative right. Why I don't like, why I like dry food is because I overcook everything because I don't know how to cook. Oh, mm. okay. Man. That's what you're used to. That's what I'm used to. Yeah. yeah. Until I became in a relationship with someone who actually knows how to cook <laughs> and like savory and something things that are a bit on the moist side and and uh, <laughs> buttered. Oh. 
are like I finally have like a good taste after being single for so long and being married. I was like, oh yeah, this is how chicken's supposed to taste like. Mm. It's supposed to be a little juicy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Juicy. Yeah, yeah. Courtney I, taught him about good food and bravo. Right. right. Oh. oh, big time. The two yeah. staples. Yeah. That's yeah. all, <laughs> all you need to know about the world. Well, so all you need to live. You can survive on just that. You know? <laughs> my family in the Caribbean now are like watching my videos, which is so dope. My grandfather, I think, is like 90 seven and he's he's That's seen a couple sweet. without a recipes mm-hmm. you know um and that that feels great what does yeah. he say to you about that is he um, proud I, of your I, cooking yeah. i know it's like, <laughs> like quizzy boy <laughs> yeah. yeah so it's like it's it's great it's uh it's making my family laugh so that's Aww. that 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 makes me feel good yeah big up to without a recipe big big up to rachel mm-hmm. and the whole without a recipe crew mm-hmm. yeah um, before we go, I, so your, has your goal changed at all from being a, uh, commercial director? Are you trying to, what's your, what's your current goal? What are you trying to oh, do? Oh, that's such a, that's a really good question. Um, it's, it's, uh, see, I think goals are just a, uh, direction, mm-hmm. right? It's not a destination, mm-hmm. right? It's more like a, like a checkpoint. So goals are, you're going towards this place and the people that you meet and all the things that you interact with all the people you interact with on a journey to this thing Mm -hmm. is like what life kind of like is all about. You just set like some destination and I'm going over there. You're North Star. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 And, and, and when I hit it, it's just is what it is. And Mm -hmm. well, look at the people I met during this journey. Right. Yeah. So yes, the goal is still to direct commercials. The goal is actually just to get better uh, being on camera. Mm -hmm. The goal is to learn from all my friends um, so yeah, the, the goal, the goal is just set in an intention. Uh, I'm going to try really hard to do this thing. And commercial directing is still within that wheelhouse mm-hmm. of doing it. And once I direct more commercials, the goal is not really complete. It's just do more things that I think is just fun mm-hmm. and, um, be open, be present, be very kind to people and learn. Yeah. yeah. We love that. That's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Do you so guys sweet. have goals? What's your guys' goals right now? We've started working out more. Yeah. And eating better. You're meal prepping. That's like a big thing. We're trying to meal prep. Meal prepping is the way. I guess that is a goal. I want to be able, our goal, because we actually do work with a trainer. We love her. Right. Um, She's my favorite person I think I've ever met this year. Um, She's she's, (laughs) she's big. She is like the most positive, wonderful person I've ever met. Mm -hmm. Um, But I want every year to be stronger so that like Mm. when I'm older and Henny's older that I can still play with him and do all the things that I need to do. Oh, that's great. Like she teaches a lot of like functional training. Like I do a lot Mm. of like Mm -hmm. getting up off the ground. Mobility. Withholding Mm -hmm. weights. Ah. So I feel like I can be stronger for Henny. You know. Yeah, working out, man mentally it helped me so much yeah yeah Yeah. it's a very short-term goal you know what i mean you just have to make it through that 30 minutes or that hour yeah and you'll feel better afterwards yeah i mean i hate that it makes me feel better because i'd rather sleep right (laughs) you're doing hard things yeah you're doing hard things yeah Mm -hmm. i had a therapist once tell me she was we were talking about math and i was like oh i was never good at math um and that's why i hate math and i refuse to do it and she's like well you know math isn't really to teach you about like i mean it is to teach you about numbers but it's to teach you that you can do something hard when you're little that you can like solve a problem it's supposed to give you confidence and i was like well it did the opposite to me (laughs) yeah (laughs) but she said that's like the general goal i guess like your approach the way you 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 look at it man a lot of a lot of these things are mental it's like it's always perspective right Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, it's all like you can have a sibling that grows in, grow up in the same house, same situation, same circumstances. But if someone has a different perspective on the challenges that they have, it's either it's, it can take them up where another sibling can probably like take mm-hmm. them down mm-hmm. in some mm-hmm. down some path that is probably negative, you know. But it's all freaking perspective. Mm-hmm. Yep. I always believe, which could not it, maybe it's not true. Like life is happening for you, mm-hmm. right? And it, again. Could be wrong, but fuck, it's my perspective. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? I'd rather take that perspective than be super negative. I love yeah. that. And I love that this little journey of life brought you to us. Yeah. yeah. Sitting with us on our little chairs today. Thank you. <laughs> Quasi, where can the people find you? Uh, you can find me on Instagram, K W E S I underscore J 
James. That's Quasi underscore James. Um, and also, um, yeah, support uh, my merch company, uh, Hats and Hydration. Chocolate makes me thirsty. There will be a couple of drops uh, late and early next year. So uh, pull up and um, bless up yourself, guys. Yeah. yeah. Thanks bless for coming up. on, Quasi. Yeah, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for having me. This is very dope show. <laughs> this show was very Thank you. dope. Thank you. I must say. <laughs> Thank yeah. you, Crazy. You guys run a nice ship here. <laughs> <laughs> we try. Dope. Nice You're times back only. Anytime. Oh, cheers. Thank yeah, you. Thank anytime. you. Yeah. Well, until next time, guys, make sure you're washing your hands, being nice to yourself, register to vote, vote, get vaccinated. Respect pee millennials. after sex. Respect <laughs> millennials. <Yeah. laughs> and we'll see you next time. Mm-hmm. Bye. Bye.